Hi, this is Mark Olsey and the special guest with me, Zarin Olsey. We are here to do another communication tip for the Pledge Talk learning community. So just a little while ago, you and I were discussing our finances and I was expressing some frustration over how the billing has turned out and the uh, the, uh, what do you call the deductibles and how that all fleshes out and so forth. Just frustrated about that and not able to understand it. You're better at finances than I am. And as we kind of work through things like this, but I was just expressing some frustration and in, um, that mode of frustration, I was, I was saying something like, oh, it's so frustrating that they work it out this way. It feels like, you know, we're really doing better than we are. And then we look at it all and we realize it's not. And I feel like they, 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 you know, do this to, I don't know whether, whether I said take advantage of us. Well, I don't know what it was. I was just really expressing some frustration. And when I got quiet, your response was like, yeah, but we can do this. Or it was a kind of a, do you remember it mm -hmm. pretty much? Yeah. Do you remember what was the response? I guess I said, yeah, but at least we can pay the bill, even though we don't have as much as we were hoping we'd have for the rest of the year. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. So when I expressed my frustration, that's what I saw you do and heard you say. And what happened in me then was it was like, mm, right? I was like a, just a, a, an inner word in frustration. And then you caught yourself and that was way cool. And what did you do then? I caught myself because I realized, <laughs> I've done this before, um, that I hadn't like echoed you and validated that mm -hmm. feeling that you were feeling. I, I guess in my own mind, I was like, yeah, that's a bummer, but, and then I went to that brighter window, but I hadn't taken the time to validate your thinking and your frustration. And so I stopped and did that. And that was... A game changer for you. It right? was. It was this because, and in fact, you did it, and I stopped, and I looked at you and said, and I actually did you a fist bump. Yeah. Because it was like that was amazing, <laughs> and then I said, here's what happens, when I say something like that, and I'm frustrated, and you say, yeah, but right, and you don't validate. I, I said the effect it has on me is that it causes me to have consternation, and I'm going. Ugh. And I kind of walk away thinking, yeah, you're right, but, and it leaves me in that uh, state, right? Mm -hmm. But when you validated me, it was like, ah, I was a moment, I was able to say what I did. And then you heard me and validated and enabled me to breathe kind of a sigh of, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, at least she gets me to understand. Mm -hmm. And that freed me then to take the next step to appreciate the the positive thought thereafter as well and it was so helpful wow that's so cool yeah that's so cool and that totally makes sense because i know i'm the same I want, I want someone to feel that to validate that yeah as well so so by being validated it allowed you to kind of like take all that energy and release it and then be able to go forward that's perfect that's a great way of saying it yeah. Cool. cool. So thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it. <laughs> Way cool. I know you will, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. One little extra thing I just want to throw in there. You had said something like, you know, I kind of thought I validated in my head. No, not that I validated you, but I I myself had that mental process. Th that it made sense. Yes. Is my point. So right. but you had it up here, yes. you just didn't do it there. Correct. And my thought is I'll bet a, that happens to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. That they have the thought here. Oh yeah, I can see that. You know, they have that thought. They just don't verbalize the thought. Uh, yes. And so my point is like, oh wow, if we just do this, take it from here to here, that's the needed step. So we have to be really cognizant and intentional that we're yeah getting it from the brain to the mouth, like yeah. you just said. And, and then openly and uh, outwardly validating, and and that's what makes the difference. Cool. cool. Awesome. Thanks, son. Okay. All right. Maybe there you have Tuesday it. Tuesday tune-up. There we go. Bye-bye. <laughs>